Ten four for planet Earth. Break, break. Anyone from Earth on channel one niner? Even old buddy, I answered. What could I do with you? Must be some mean skip out there. What's your twenty? Thanks for coming back. The voice responds. We're on the planet gods. We wanted to talk to Earth to find out how the toad struggle is going on your planet. I pulled a pickup over the side of the road. Say it again, I asked. You know, the toad struggle, the motor force of history, the titanic struggle of civilization against the hordes of great green reptiles and amphibians who live off the wealth we create, who grind our bones to make their bread. Sounds a lot like my boss, I answered in a <laughs> But are you sure you got the right era? Those creatures are extinct. Have been for umpteen million years, as a matter of fact. That toad struggle you speak about is obsolete, done, and gone. There's silence on the channel. Then the squelch opens for the squad. Hey, that's great! Off oh, mic, I hear him yell. Hey, people, the Earthling says that the toad struggle is over and done with. Come what? That's fantastic. Let's have a party. Luke, you bring the ammonia. Zordex, you get the chips. Neil, you get... There's the sound of heavy footsteps, a muffled scream, then chewing and swallowing. Another voice comes on the mic. Sorry about that. Corporate suddenly decided we needed some more layoffs. Economic downturn. Got to keep the shareholders happy. You know how it is. By the way, who is that I hear in the background munching on your wallet? <laughs> hey, I didn't even get your handle. I respond. But the guy's gone. Skip must have gone out. I'm sure, hear some crazy things on TV radio these days. Good <laughs> <laughs> job, you lazy bum. And don't tell me that you can't find one. Look at the classifieds. There's a million of them out there. Look at this. <laughs> now you sincerely interested in getting rich? Straight commission sales. Social service worker? Change adult diapers. Be your own boss? Straight commission sales. Cocktail weight person? Put up shirt on. Want to make money? Street commission says. Community health aid? Change adult diapers. $500 a week guaranteed. Street commission sales. 1%. Sell so five fifty thousand a week or you're fired. Human relations? Change adult diapers. <laughs> Interviewer? Straight commission sales. Like parties? Sell plastic crap to your friends on the party plan. <laughs> Like working with people? Change adult diapers. Live in Maine, must be gangly. Third world waitress can sleep on a rug before the bed. <laughs> Management training needed. Make head burger chef in only five years. Must love kids? Sell ice cream from a push cart. <laughs> love to travel? Straight commission sales. Selling magazine subscriptions. Wheel training, full benefits, middle class wages. Oops, that's a title. See, there's plenty of work for anyone who really wants it. Now get out there and get a job. <laughs> a day of sunlight, babies and mothers, loving times, warmth incarnate. Amidst the frivolity, a jazz man sits, retching, life sucked from his veins, and with it evaporate dreams of renewal. Would you desecrate my ambitions, Jasmine? Disintegrate my hopes? Poison my desires? I think not. I will rise above the day and soar. Oh, oh. Storm hit. My wife was in the kitchen playing pants. I was in the study playing dead. Our one room with a heater closed its door as each of us became a dark ghost to the other conducting the blizzard between us. Turning, we began talking to ourselves. The sound froze as the words came out, cutting our lips and shattering the floor. My wife stooped to pick all her pieces up and place them back north in her mind under the longest night of the year. 
I put all mine like sandbags on the tip of my tongue, planning against too quick a thaw. But there was no flood. She cried slowly for days. When she was done and green again, I rose to go. I walked to the window. Outside, it was throbbing at us all. I spoke all my cold words into my hands, unpacking my mouth. They were raven words. I wished them well as I threw their frozen wings out to find some land where it never falls to live. First, first was called Quiet Monday. Nothing happened on Monday. No one ever dreaded Monday until now. And then there's anticipated Tuesday. Some heard Jesus was on his way, but no one knew what Rudy had used. <laughs> and then Happy Wednesday. Someone saw the Lord and spread the word. And priceless Thursday. Jesus stayed in a cheap hotel and performed a couple of healings to pay the bill. And then on Good Friday, there's nothing good about being arrested for sleeping in the park. Because one of his best friends dropped a dime on him. Not so good Saturday. It's not, it's even worse than Friday. Poor Jesus had to take a beating for not having a driver's license or registration, and then no overnight to be shot at dawn by firing squad. And then the Holy Sunday. The Lord plays dead until the cops leave, then he gets up and runs home without telling. Him. <laughs>